Welcome or welcome back to our channel. Guys, Happy New Year. And if this is your first time, my name is Marlene and I blog at savorythoughts.com along with my wonderful husband, AJ. So guys, in this video, we are bringing in the new year with this Haitian um, slow cook Haitian chaka recipe. Now the recipe is actually being made with lamb chops instead of pork as it is traditionally made. However, we do not eat pork in our home. So therefore we are using lamb chops as a substitute. So to begin, you want to go ahead and soak your beans in corn. And for this, we are actually using the Harmony beans, but you could also use large white, um, I'm sorry, the Harmony corn, but you could also use large white corn. So rinse your corn in your red kidney beans out and let it soak for 10 hours or overnight. Now, while that's soaking or before you start making your chaka, go ahead and prepare your other ingredients. And we are um, juicing lime and lemon. If your lime or lemon is um, too hard for you to juice, I definitely recommend that you roll it a few times just to get the juices flowing and soften it up and it makes it a lot easier for you to juice. As you can see, I am pressing down extremely hard when I am juicing the, um, the limes because the limes are actually um, more difficult than the lemon. The lemon, uh, the juices flow nicely, but the um, limes usually give us some problems, but that's okay. We'll get, we'll get all the juices that we need from it. So go ahead and repeat that. So we are using two um, lemons and two limes for this recipe. So guys, once you are done juicing and hopefully your fingers do not hurt, go ahead and use a um, small strainer and um, strain the juice. So that way you do not have um, all the pulps and um, seeds into your chaka. Yes, let me tell you, you do not want to miss out on the lemon and lime because it's going to make all of the flavors from the Haitian apis and from the cumin just pop. Like I'm telling you, like it is, it's delicious. It's absolutely delicious and warm. So once you're done, go ahead and sit it aside. And now um, our meat was seasoned with the Haitian apis and a little bit of salt, but the full recipe is on our website at savvythoughts.com. So, when it comes to searing your meat, go ahead and use a large skillet. Add in the meat and sear it until nicely golden on both sides. It should take about two to four minutes. You don't want to overcook the meat, okay? Because we're going to finish that in the slow cooker. So for this, we are using about 15 to 16 um, lamb chops. You can get that at your local grocery store. Once you're done, sit it aside and add in your chopped onions. We are using one medium onion for this. So go ahead and roughly chop it and place it in the skillet and allow it to cook or caramelize. Now you do not want to rinse out your skillet because all of that is just delicious flavor. Okay, that's just going to infuse itself into the onions and also into the, your Haitian chaka. In the same bowl that we seasoned the meat with, go ahead and add in your broth, stir it around to get the remaining to get the remaining um, apis seasoning. So rinse out your beans and rinse out your corn and transfer that into your slow cooker. I'm telling you, this chaka, guys, it is made with so much love. Your family is absolutely going to enjoy this. So once you're done, add in the, um, the caramelized onions along with all of the juices. Next, add in your um, seared lamb chops. And don't forget to add the juices from that as well. 
And for this, we are also adding in one cup of Haitian Epis. Yes, I did say one cup because you want this to be as flavorful as possible. And keeping it very simple with the other spices. We are also adding in cumin seeds, but you can definitely use ground cumins if that's what you have on hand. And add in your um, a little bit of salt. We added about one teaspoon of salt, or you can um, add your salt to taste, and we use kosher salt. Also add in your uh, broth, and for this we are using chicken broth, and this is about eight cups. Now, you cannot forget your habanero or scotch bonnet pepper. I'm telling you, this is going to make a whole world of difference in your Haitian chaka. It's only going to become spicy if you break it. If you don't break it and leave it whole, all you're doing is just extracting the flavor from the outside, um, the outside of the pepper into your chaka, and it is absolutely delicious. So around four hours, I would suggest that you go ahead and check your beans. You want your beans and your corn to be nicely cooked. You want your chaka to be nice and thick and we achieve that by cooking and letting the beans and corn just release the juices and just do its thing basically. <laughs> so after you've checked it about four hours, just to stir it up, make sure things do not, get, um, do not stick to the bottom of the slow cooker, then cover it and continue cooking it for an additional two to four hours, depending on how thick you want it. But don't forget to remove your hot pepper. I'm telling you because the hot pepper or habanero pepper or scotch bonnet pepper, it is very spicy. And I would not want for you to hurt yourself by chewing on this, okay? So definitely remove it and sit it aside. So once you are done, transfer your delicious slow cooked Haitian chaka into a large bowl enjoy it and guys if you need the full recipe which i know you would need the full recipe to make this deliciousness <laughs> go ahead and head over to our website at savethoughts.com and we would love for you to also subscribe to our channel here we are actually growing yay we are growing so we would love for you to have you be part of our community and our family so go ahead and subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos cheers